Hey everyone, my name is Joyce and today I'm here assisting Ruben, Zcoin Community Manager to help you understand a little bit more about Zcoin. Today's topic is about privacy or some people call it privacy. But basically what is privacy? We all have it, we all need it. I need my space, you need your space and you know, we respect each other's privacy. Now financially, we need it too. Financial privacy, it's a basic right and everybody has it. You don't really want everyone seeing your spending habits now, do you? $2,000 product bag? Maybe? This is why banks only release your information to authorities or themselves. Again, they're trying to keep your stuff private. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. Are you? Or that you have anything to hide. Do you? And buying a $2,000 product bag isn't exactly a crime. But then again, do you really want everyone knowing your spending habits and how much you have in your bank? Probably not. With Bitcoin and other non-privacy-centric cryptocurrencies, you're actually not as anonymous as you really think you are. Which is equivalent to creating a fake identity or you appearing as another person. New words. All your transactions are actually recorded on this thing called a blockchain and it's permanent and it's available for the public. So people basically can see when X amount of money is transferred from address A to address B. Tracking it down does take some effort but with recent technologies combined with some outside information, IP addresses or transactions to known addresses, they will find you. How about if I make multiple new addresses? You can still be tracked through your spending patterns and the location still can link addresses to the transactions. That makes Bitcoin potentially less anonymous than the traditional banking system because now everyone can see your transactions. Next, we move on to fungibility. fungibility. Where an item is replaceable by an identical item or the item itself is mutually interchangeable. Put it this way, coins or currencies should not be distinguishable from each other can't be tainted in any way and they should just be, you know, all even. Here's a real life example. Do you know that 90% of US dollar bills are tainted with cocaine? This is because a lot of the money that has been involved in drug trafficking per se has already been mixed into the banking system or being used in multiple transactions. Therefore, the bills themselves are no longer distinguishable from each other. But with Bitcoin, they're able to track down all your previous transactions. So let's say somebody uses Bitcoin in a drug transaction and somehow that coin ends up in your hand. So down the road, if you do get checked and they trace back where your Bitcoin came from and it's linked to a drug trade, you could potentially be prosecuted for a crime that you did not commit and have your coin seized due to civil forfeiture laws. Sucks, isn't it? So here's where Zcoin comes to solve this problem. Zcoin uses the Zero Coin Protocol which basically allows you to wipe off all your previous coin transaction history. Most other coins merely obfuscate the transaction links, so they mess it up, make it really hard to track. But they don't destroy it. Zcoin, on the other hand, completely destroys them. And how does this work, you may ask? They do it through this system called Zero Knowledge Proof. So Zero Knowledge Proof works this way. 1. You can burn your coins. 2. You redeem new coins with completely zero transaction history, so clean slate. And all you have to do is just show proof that you've burned coins previously. And three, you don't have to indicate which coins that you burn, so you remain really anonymous. So imagine I had 10 Z coins and I wanted to burn five of them. So I take five, I burn them. With proof that I burned five coins, I can then claim five new coins with zero transaction history and zero knowledge proof. So some of you may be thinking, wouldn't this protect criminals? But here's the thing, that even with Zcoin technology, it is very very problematic and, you know, virtually just impossible to withdraw large amounts of cash from cryptocurrency. All exchanges are regulated by the AML and KYC laws. Exchanges that are helping hackers launder money like the BTCE are being shut down. So the moral of this story, or the moral of this video, is that we all understand how important financial privacy is. The same should extend to cryptocurrency. That's why Zcoin is the way to go. So why are people moving on to Zcoin? Well, with Bitcoin, you can be linked to a crime that you did not commit. And all your transactions are public and permanent. Actions don't. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned because there will be more videos coming out to educate you a little bit more about this fantastic thing called Z-Coin. Bye!